All right, so last night they had me maneuver her uh, people or whatever into this motel in Los Angeles called Vista Motel. And I told her when I first came in, this is a place where I got some really deep sleep. And so we called it the deep sleep place. They called it the deep sleep place. It's just a cheap ass motel. And anyway, so they, uh, so earlier today, we were, you know, they were having me go. And, Make and, a U-turn at East 19th it. Street. Then turn right onto West Century Boulevard. And say some stuff to her that was confronting her for a different, see, because here's, here's the thing. She's Jesus Christ, I'm Jesus Christ. Anytime anything happens, like, that offends something or, like, threatens her, then I automatically know it. Not all of her threats, but especially with men. I just pick up on it instantly. <laughs> anyway, so, this has something to do with the beast and sexual dominion, I think, as well. And probably some crucifixions in there, too. But At all the light, turn right onto West Century Boulevard. All I'm trying to say is that this morning... Then after I sent this stuff, then she was in the room next door and I that we can read each other's minds and she goes uh she's she said a specific thing to me and then she uh, she repeated it out loud what she was thinking to me and uh, and then but she didn't repeat it exactly. They probably had her change it or something. Um, and then, so, and then, and then she started crying. I've never heard anybody cry so hard in my entire life. And uh, she just said, it's so hard, you know? And, and she was talking about the, the crucifixion of it and what they're doing to us. But I don't know what she's talking about. Something about um, probably me rejecting her or something, okay? But either way, the point of the story is this. Um, oh, God, I'm pain in the ass shit. Anyways, over some, but either way, so, so there was a, a guy in there, and the guy said, um, so she asked me, because all these in three disciples. Quarters of a mile, turn right to merge onto the disciples have been, five north. The disciples Santa have Monica. been getting after her and she doesn't understand why and I could feel it everything because she was so close I could feel everything she's feeling even when it was going on she's just and she wanted to know why and and the reason why is because I I told them that they need to get her out of that or else I, I'm not gonna even let them be disciples they gotta get their heads together put their heads together and figure it out and uh because they had just let me suffer with this shit for so long that if they would do that, they couldn't even fucking be a disciple. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm trying to say is this. That as soon as, as she asked me that, and I, I started coming up with some different guests, like jealousy. There's stuff in there that goes back to the story of Joseph and, and the bloody robe. And Revelation goes back to the story of Joseph, who's a, a, a Jesus Christ as well. And so, that story was... Um, so... God, what was I saying? Fuck, I can't remember. But, I, but I, oh, yeah, jealousy. I said jealousy, and then I said, um, and then I said, you know, we're mutual enemies, and so, and so, like, I have to be mean to you sometimes to get you to feel like this, and a lot of it has to do with, um, so, but that was wrong because I, I've forgotten that I told him this. And so, uh, when I said, when I said mutual enemies, there was a dude in there, and he goes, be mean to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like a 40, 50 year old dude with a stern voice. Like it didn't like, it wasn't her boyfriend or it wasn't anything like that. You know what I'm saying? 